My name is Jasper de Boer, and here you would expect your beloved anchor, Marta Tomczyk. But she is in bed, ill, with high fever, and hopefully back on track very soon. Moving on, though, about the thing we reported last time on the dubious drug dealing in the Highlander. Good news, because the owner got his keys back and will open up his doors very soon. Last Saturday, Master was host to an international anti-nuclear movement organized by the Green Party and our mayor of Maastricht. Honor Hoos was present there as well to give his thoughts about how to prevent such a catastrophe from happening. And Breaking Mass has a report. 50 kilometers away there is a nuclear power plant called the Hange, which might become the future Fukushima of Maastricht. And today Maastricht is holding an international protest organized by the Green Party and the crowd is coming our way. <laughs> Standing here with uh, Rob, one of the initiators of the day. Why would you choose for this such an event uh, to stop a nuclear power plant in Belgium? Yeah, okay. Uh, there are several problems with the nuclear uh, plant in Tiage. Uh, there are security problems, there are problems with the uh, stress reports, which there are. And um, in uh, the security region of Limburg, there is no plan to save the people in case of an emergency. So uh, when we discovered that, we had the plan to make a big demonstration uh, just to uh, yeah, get all those people here and to get support. Uh, Mr. Hoos, why do you think it's actually so important, these sort of actions in Maastricht City? Well, of course it's very important because the safety of uh, nuclear energy is very important. And if something's going wrong in the energy, then well, we, we see uh, the results also here in the south of Limburg. Uh, what can you do, as uh, you're the head of the security uh, group uh, Southern Limburg, what can you do as, as a such a person? Well, the most important thing is that we have uh, enough medicine when, it's, uh, when, when it should be necessary. So we have the possibility from the ministry um, uh, in The Hague uh, that we get more medicines here, especially in, uh, in, in the south of Limburg. Uh, and the second thing, probably uh, if, even important as this, is that um, uh, we will start with a, a kind of rehearsal. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, so we, we, we will try to, to see what, what will happen, uh, what, what, what can happen uh, if something uh, is taking place. Uh, place there uh, and that all the authorities can work together in the right way. trend hits Maastricht, spot it, but what do you guys think of it? Let's take a look. Well, this lonely boy is probably not the first nor the last person to be spotted at Maastricht University. And today we are at the Maastricht University in our city library to ask the students what do they think about the spotted pages. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of uh, this page and I comment a few things and I post also a few things. And you? <laughs> well, I think it's, it's fun. It yeah. keeps you going when you're having a bad day at the library. Um, I think most of the times it's funny, but sometimes it's a little bit too much. But have yeah. you heard this link to your own profile? Oh yeah, I heard about that. And what you, uh, what I think it's you? actually funny because I think it was a girl who wrote, who wrote down I really like you and then it was your link. Yeah, so yeah. because it's something nice, it's just funny and you think it's you. <laughs> you know, as soon as it's not mean or really yeah. bad things, I think it's fine. How do you imagine the person who runs the, this Facebook page? Do you have any image? Probably a student, right? A student yeah. group. Some guys, yeah, some, exactly. not girls. Some guys. I would say some guys. Girls wouldn't publish these super dirty things on the page, I think. Uh, <laughs> probably, a, probably a guy, yeah. We think it might be a girl, yeah. because, I don't know, just the way the person writes. Mm -hmm. Probably German. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess IB or economics. Maybe a, maybe a, um, a male and um, yeah, maybe, maybe studying some creative stuff. I think it's a girl. What Only from the writing skills, but I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I heard, I was told it was a girl. 
Well, I suppose most people would say a woman, but I wouldn't be too surprised if it's a guy, I guess. Mm -hmm. Probably German. Wow. And that's just going on an easy guess because most people here are German. I'm sitting here with the person who runs the Spotted Maastricht University Facebook page, which uh, becomes uh, more and more famous. My first question is, where is the um, idea from to have such a f uh, Facebook page? Um, a lot of universities already have these kind of pages and also friends of me were really active on these pages and then I was like, why don't we have it in Maastricht and uh, especially not in English? Mm -hmm. And that's how I came up with the idea. And did you get some really dirty messages? Because um, when I checked some other spotted, Facebook, uh, spotted pages, I saw like really dirty posts, but it doesn't happen um, at our page. Do you um, somehow filter them? Yeah, of course it's really funny if it's dirty. Yeah. Um, that's, the, that's the whole fun part of it. But if it sometimes it just goes too far, it crosses the line. So then I asked, can you maybe rephrase it or in a more funny way? Mm -hmm. And then he did that and then it was actually okay. Okay, did you already like maybe heard any um, complaints about this uh, Facebook page? Like, you know, from people who, who aren't really in favor of it? Did they um, message you? No, I didn't receive any message with complaints. Um, only when um, there was a post about it, uh, that linked oh, to yeah. uh, everybody's <laughs> own profile. Page. You scared shit out, out of us. <laughs> yeah, I think so too, because people got really angry and they, got, they sent, wrote me messages and mm -hmm. then 10 minutes later they were like, oh, sorry, this is really funny, I'm yeah. really sorry. Well, are you having fun uh, running the page? Are you planning to do it for a longer period? <laughs> Yeah, it's really fun to do, so I'm definitely planning to continue updating all the messages that I receive. So, uh, yeah, it just all depends on the people who send the messages, so it all depends on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for the interview, and Maastricht, keep on coming! <laughs> Marta and Eva joined forces to enjoy their very first threesome party in Maastricht, organized at Il Cavo, Ed's Café and C'est la Vie. And it was all quite crowded out there, so that's some interviews while waiting in line. And this is the result. Three clubs, three styles of music, and three times more fun than at a usual party. And obviously we are looking for the guy who will create with us a threesome. What yeah, does threesome don't... mean? Free parties, free parties, no, free location. Threesome means normally you have sex with one partner, but sometimes you have it with two and then you have three persons. What does the threesome mean actually? The threesome? What does it like, mean? Because I don't know. You usually two girls, one guy, right? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Forever? Yeah, nigga. I'm still fucking with you. Is it hip hop music? Because I don't think so. <laughs> this is hip hop. Yeah, I know, man. Is it? This is hip hop, man. It's, it's a kind of RB, isn't it? Did you already visit any of the clubs tonight? Uh, yeah, we did actually. We went into the C'est la Vie and it was, uh, it was really crowded. So they threw a lot of people out because it was, the party was too heavy. Do you think it's a real hip hop or not? Uh, they had some hip hop but also some 80s in between. So yeah. kind of a weird mixture. I don't know, there was like some fight in there or I don't know what happened, some argument. And they pushed everyone out. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I got pushed through, like, through the door, and yeah, I got like a huge ass bruise. Did you visit every of the clubs or not? No, just this one, but it's like really crowded, and all the places are crowded, so I thought like it's a bit Sander, overcrowded. I have the solution for you, but I don't know if you will agree for that. We are looking for someone to join our threesome, actually. To do your what? <laughs> to join our threesome. <laughs> like threesome? us and someone else? I'd be glad to assist. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about this idea of having three parties at once? I mean, if we consider how uh, fucking small all these clubs here are in Maastricht <laughs> and that basically none of the clubs it's, is really it's nice. It's not enough. It, it, it's like, okay, you have three. I mean, if you multiply something bad times three, it's still yeah. something bad. But The final question, you have to be careful. <laughs> if you would look for someone to join our threesome, would you do that? Like, would you join our you threesome, you, like our with us? Yeah, yeah, we can go. See <laughs> And now, the Breaking Mass top events list of this week, starting off with a lecture on the 23rd of January, given by Professor Al-Atsum of the University of Bonn, 
on the Arab Spring events in, for example, Egypt or Syria, talking about mass movements and protests. It's taking place at the Middelboerdersberg Ala at 8 p.m. and free entry. On the 22nd of January, there'll be the party organized by Exceeding Cooperation with Mass Life at Il Cavo with vodka and gummy bears. Uh, doors open at 10 o'clock in the evening and you can find more info below. And in the weekend of the 26th of January, there'll be the M2 Life at the Bonafante Museum with lots of artists. And on the last day, you have a live painting event with four artists and a DJ. This was Breaking Mass. Thank you very much for watching. And like Marta, we'll be back in two weeks. Bye-bye.